Welcome to Geek and Update, I'm Justin, and I used to think I was indecisive, but now, I'm not sure. Marvel comic fans are buzzing, as Captain America will be donning a new armored suit in the Marvel's number one. The new suit will feature the durability to re-enter Earth's atmosphere from space, courtesy of Tony Stark, rune-enchanted fire blast gauntlets, courtesy of Doctor Strange, and a butt flap with an American's ass decal, courtesy of Deadpool. Darth Vader number 11 has fueled Star Wars fans with multiple theories after it was revealed that Palpatine came into possession of Luke's missing hand after the Empire Strikes Back. But my foolproof theory is that the hand reanimated itself with the Force and became a useful thing for an eccentric family who loves wearing black. Halloween couldn't come any sooner as Disney Plus released a sneak preview for their new special, Muppets Haunted Mansion. The story will focus on Gonzo as he endures a full night in the eerie estate where he must face against its spookiest figures like the Hatbox Ghost, the Black Widow Bride, and the worst being to doom the Haunted Mansion. <sighs> the CW confirmed that original The Flash cast members Carlos Valdez, who plays Cisco, and Tom Cavanaugh, who plays Harrison Wells, will be exiting the series after seven seasons. Many are debating who is responsible for the exodus, but I know it's due to the series' true villain. No, not her. Godspeed? Good guess, but wrong again. Ding, 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 ding! No one knows how to destroy DC character arcs better than these guys. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at Disneyland and Disney World now offer replicas of Luke and Leia's lightsaber hilts shown in The Rise of Skywalker. At a low price of $375, I'm sure real fans won't hesitate to buy these, then bury them in the sand for true authenticity. A four-year-old accidentally ordered 51 cases of SpongeBob SquarePants popsicles on his mom's Amazon account. At a whopping $2,600 price tag, it looks like SpongeBob and Patrick aren't the only two goofy goobers here. The trailer for the sequel Venom Let There Be Carnage dropped recently and gave a better look at the newest villain, Cletus Cassidy aka Carnage. I must say the trailer looks intriguing and definitely seems to have buddy cop vibes but the most notable change? Cletus' hair. I mean I straight up thought Eddie Brock was going to fight Sideshow Bob at the end of the credits of the first movie. BBC News has confirmed that the infamous Romanian castle that inspired the setting for Bram Stoker's Dracula will be used as a COVID vaccination site. The Romanian government has assured that the location is safe and will be administered by the inhabitants themselves. While they enjoy their work, they've said they're always looking for new blood. Ha, 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 ha. Amazon is now selling a six-foot inflatable Death Star just in time for summer. Have a blast using its Globe Destroyer setting to eliminate rival beach balls. But keep an eye out for any rebel pilots who try to shoot his exhaust port because it will self-destruct. Funko Games has released a new board game based off the Fast and Furious franchise called Highway Heist. To encourage players to get into character, each game comes with a bald skull cap with a sleeveless tee and an energy drink called FAMILY that tastes like motor oil and beer burps. Oh yeah, I can already feel my testosterone rising and my IQ falling. 